Bruce is one in a million. He has said that his goal for this installation is to invite people to come and to be kind to themselves and to be kind to others. Bruce knew this needed to be a thematic exhibition, the first he's ever done, and he needed to create that exhibition around the Chronicles of Narnia. Montavo is a multidisciplinary arts center, and we present and produce performing arts, visual arts, literary arts, and even culinary arts in this incredible 175-acre garden and grounds. We also serve almost 20,000 school children a year. Our mission is about engaging the community in the creative process, and we do that through our Sally and Don Lucas Artist Residency, which each year brings artists, writers, composers, musicians, dancers, choreographers from all over the world to live and create new work here. Bruce is the perfect artist for Montavo because we really are interested in finding ways to activate this unique space. Bruce was first seen by one of our patrons at an East Coast premiere, and we knew then, when we invited him here, that he would be the perfect fit. We invited him to come and think about Montavo as a potential site for an exhibition. And he came, and you know, he arrived here in the dark. He went to our artist residency. They're all contemporary buildings. And waking up in the morning, he came up on the grounds and he found Montovo was just completely magical. He saw the villa, he walked the gardens, and he knew this was sort of a place very close to his childhood memories of Narnia. The inspiration behind these pieces is C.S. Lewis's The Chronicles of Narnia but it's actually Montalvo's the inspiration because Montalvo made me remember the books that I read as a child. They inspire me because they're dealing with issues that I believe are important and the images that C.S. Lewis conjured up in a child's mind are beautiful. It's very special because there are 10 specific installations here. It's a very large, immersive installation so when visitors come they can expect to see light installations in trees, on the grounds, projection in and on the villa. It's really going to be special. There are also first ever seen works that are international premieres as well as this entire exhibition is the first of its kind ever exhibited publicly on the west coast. It's taking Montavo to a new level, it's doing something altogether different here. It's delightful, it's whimsical, and really his intention is to let people come together and experience, you know, have a joyous experience together. There is a journey actually around the garden, a visual journey. I want to uh, show people, you know, I've, I've been using light for many years. When I see a space, I immediately get a picture in my head. I just go for the gut feeling. The first piece of work that visitors will see is called The Good Seed. The Good Seed is its a reference to the lamppost in Narnia. In the very first book, The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, there is this magical iron Victorian lamppost in the middle of a forest or in the middle of a wood. A piece that's in behind my shoulder, you'll see these lilies of light. That was inspired by the third book. We lost a young lady in our studio this year. She was 25 years old. Um, she was one of our art assistants. She worked with the studio for three years and tragically she um, discovered she had cancer and within six weeks she died. And she was going to lead this installation. She was a really wonderful girl, very bright light. And I feel she's, she's here and smiling down on, on us. So I would just like to, to say this is for Libby. It really is a moment for us at Montavo, for all of us, for my colleagues, for our board, to see this institution step up to be at a point where we can give this gift. And I truly believe that Bruce Monroe Stories in Light will be a gift for our entire community. So I feel really blessed and honored and deeply grateful to our many supporters who stepped up to help us realize this dream.